mail. I haven't done one of these in a while, which is kind of the opening to all of my videos on this channel. Sorry. Uh, but I decided to do a Ipsy glam bag video today. It's my first impression slash review of the products for this month. So let's get started. This month's theme was the wild side, as you can tell from this leopard print bag. So uh, we have some unusual products, some more daring colors, daring products. So I figured I'd show them off and tell you what I think of them. The first product isn't particularly daring or anything, but it is the Shella, Chella, Chella. I don't, I'm not really sure how to how to pronounce this. Uh, ivory lace hi highlighter, highlighter. Yes, I can speak. It's a really nice light beige crayon highlighter. I guess you could put it under your brow bone, or um, I've kind of tested it out under my cheekbone, and it's not as kind of glittery as some other highlighters, but it's nice if you just want a little bit of extra light, I guess, uh, on your cheekbones or wherever you deem it necessary to highlight. I don't know how much I'm going to use this, but I like it a lot. It's very pigmented, uh, and I think I might use it a little bit under my brow bone if I'm going for a more matte look, uh, and yeah, it's good. I bet if you have really light skin, you could probably use this as a concealer, but I don't know if I would recommend that creative uses for products. The next product, which was probably the one I was the most excited to see after I saw the little sneak peek on the Ipsy Facebook page, is the J-Cat Sparkling Cream Palette. And these are some nice glittery, sparkling eyeshadows. I guess I guess you could use it wherever you want some extra glitter. I wouldn't recommend using these colors on their own as an eyeshadow because they're not very pigmented. It's pretty much just the color of the glitter. Uh, you think you're getting like a gold glittery eyeshadow, but no, it's just really gold glitter. Uh, but it would go nicely over top of an eyeshadow color, or a little on your face if you feel like being super glittery, whatever you're... It's a little bit chunky for my taste, but I think it would be good for costumes or for a particularly sparkly night out, so I'm excited for it. You always need more glitter in your life. And I almost dropped it. Good job, Charlotte. Ace Beauty Guruing. The next product is another one I was very excited about when they announced that they were working with this brand, and it is the NYX Rouge Cream Blush in Natural. I don't have a lot of cream blushes. The closest thing that I've ever used to a cream blush would be probably the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush, and I didn't love that because it kind of got gross after a while, but this is really nice. It's a really nice consistency that goes on well and stays really well, which I think would be awesome in the summer when it's hot and I'm sweating my face off, uh, so this will probably stay pretty well, so I'm excited to use it. It's also not a super bright color. I think this is actually like a really nice natural blush for me, so um, I'm excited to try it out. The only product that I was really disappointed with this month is the Star Looks Lip Pencil in Bare. Uh, I think this is supposed to be like a My Lips But Better color, but it is not at all. It is way too dark for my lips. My dark, my lips are actually very naturally pink and rosy, and this is just very dark. And I will keep it for costume purposes, but not so much, not so good for me. <laughs> the formula is really nice, so I think I would look into another lip pencil from this brand, uh, but probably not this color at all. <laughs> and finally we have this little contraption which is the Kaylin Line Fix Gel Eyeliner for your gorgeous smoky eyes in purple. No funky color name here, just just purple. Just purple, which I appreciate. This is a really great color, very buildable. I like the brush that it comes with. I just like how this packaging is. Like look, you open the bottom and there's the pot and then you open the top, first you gotta screw on the bottom, you open the top, and brush! Haha! -ha, magic! I think I'll be using this eyeliner a lot this summer. I love gel liners in the summer because they don't fall off your face when you're sweating. Again, great things for summer. Gel. Gel everything. Gel everything. And I really like this color. I, I just love purple. Purple is great. So that's it for my thoughts on this month's Ipsy bag. If you subscribe to Ipsy 
Uh, let me know what you think of your bag. If you got any different products, let me know. I know that there was a dry shampoo in there this month that I did not get, which I'm kind of bummed about because I would have liked a little dry shampoo in my life, but that's okay. Um, but if you got it, let me know if you liked it. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!